Hmm. This video would be to give you guys a do-it-yourself solution where you can get an axle bar plus two loadable dumbbell handles for $50. Hmm. You know what? Fuck you. You're right. I am a tryhard because I give a shit. And I'm going to put in that effort. And I'm going to be successful. And then when I'm at the fucking top, I'll be sitting there waving at your complacent ass at the bottom. It takes hard work to reach yourself. It takes hard work to reach your goals. So get out there. Get off the fucking ass. Give it to work. Let's go. Let's go, allies. There is a minute percentage of individuals whose abilities and achievements lie outside the range of statistical probability. We are the outliers. We're headed to Chrome Repo to get some one and a half inch steel pipe to make some some homemade dumbbells, some homemade plate dumbbells, plate loadable, some homemade plate loadable dumbbells, and an axle bar. Thanks to Ryan Ashruli, I don't know how to say his name. I'm gonna get it wrong so many times in this video. Do we need anything else here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure we keep a six foot distance from everybody. Yeah, how's it going? Good. That guy did not keep six feet away from me. Is that it? Yeah. Now I need to get a cut. And then you just tighten that hose clamp. Oh, that was so fresh. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. And they're only 42 cents each. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, steel comes with oil on there, so that way it doesn't rust. And that's why your hands get so dirty. Clean that hole. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> For sewer and drain use only. We got these rubber couplings with hose clamps on them that we're gonna split in half and use these as the collars instead of duct tape, just to uh, just make it look a little bit nicer. Try to at least. So there's our center line. We're gonna follow it all the way around with our marker. There's our center line as well. And then that'll be our cut line. Oops, take this and go. Now you could leave that on there and cut it like that if you want to. That looks pretty good. Oop. Oop. Just like that. Boom. There's your rubber collar. We're measuring 17 inches from the end of the barbell. You mark that 17 inches and then you're gonna lube it up. Quit smiling, why are you smiling? And now, uh, that's not going anywhere even if you try. 17 inches, Ranger, does that measure out? The key people is to use the factory cut edge on the inside, so that way your wonky edge is on the outside. Why? I don't know, that's what Shouldn't I mean. it be the opposite? So that the weight Wonky stay edge up? on the inside, <laughs> factory edge on the outside. For the dumbbells, we're gonna measure the center and then we're gonna measure three inches from each side of that center for the handles. That measurement, the three inches from the center is going to be where we place our collars. So that way we have a six inch handle and then the rest will be a weight loading zone. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so check this out, camera guy. Hey! Ah, I didn't do it, Ranger did it. Okay, so, ah. This is 18 and an eighth. So that means it's nine and a sixteenth in the center. So we're gonna measure nine and a sixteenth. And then three inches on each side of that. Interesting. Okay, well, he's going to. <laughs> so we can pretty much eyeball it. Remember, factory edge on the outside. That way your weights aren't always walking. Slip that bad boy on. Find your mark. I think you just washed it off. <laughs> oh no! That's pretty good. 
And we'll do the other side. decided to go one step further just to spruce it up a little bit and we decided to get these end caps these are one and a half inch end caps for the piping so you're gonna need a, a, a rubber mallet you're gonna set it up on the side right there and then slap that bad boy in just like that that way it gives it a nice finishing touch and that way you can't cut yourself on the sharp edge that's actually pretty dull but you never know <laughs> So the axle bar, all in all, weighs about 15 pounds, and the dumbbells weigh about five pounds each. Now you're supposed to say, now let's put these bad boys to good use. Okay. And then... Now let's put these bad boys to good use. And then hit the camera. And then what? Oh, hit the camera? <clears throat> no, hit it, and then... Okay, redo. proper clamps. Uh, you break your toe. Yeah. No, I'm lucky. Brian, this is your fault. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but he also says you need to have those clamps. He did. So. And it's my fault in thinking that I could get away with normal clamps. But lucky for me, I'm a genius. Now he said you could tape it with duct tape, but we don't have any duct tape. We don't because we decided not to get any because we're honkies. We're honkies? <laughs> Uh, so let's see what we can come up. Well, why don't you take off one of those clamps and just use that? I don't know if it'll come off because we already got it on. Oh, the, the I'll clamp. just take off the clamp. That's You're a genius, you. babe. Say that again? <laughs> I love you. No, no, no. Repeat the other part. What was the other part? Say it. This isn't closing for some reason. Say it. Or don't ah! <laughs> You're a genius. So if you don't have any OD clamps, and you don't want to fuck up your foot like I did. Boom! You don't even need to buy OD collars or OD clamps. Just buy an extra set, a couple extra sets of hose clamps and use your extra rubber. You got well, yourself you, some... Uh, you might be speaking too soon because... Yeah, you it might be. Know. We'll see. <laughs> You and I, or just people in general? Um, just me. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Take two, no foot injury. Are you scared? Huh? Are you scared? No, this is gonna work. Woo! Come on, baby. I'm impressed with that, actually. You are? Yeah. <laughs> it worked pretty well. Oh yeah! All right, so the dumbbells work fantastic. Once you get those OD collars on, those OD clamps, those hose clamps, whatever you got, whatever you want to use, they work fantastic. The weights don't shift around once you get it nice and tight. Woo! Feels good to have some dumbbells on hand. So now we'll put the axle bar to the test with a rack pull, heavy rack pull. We'll load it up with as much weight as we can do and see what happens. So this is 285 pounds right here. You can't wrap your arms all the way around the bar. You can't wrap your arms all the way around the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wrap your, your hands all the way around the bar. And so the axle bar is both very, very 
uh, difficult compared to an average bar and also very beneficial because it works out your forearms a lot more than a traditional bar. That's pretty difficult. All right, let's try and go up there. So Brian had said that he's loaded this thing up with 500 pounds. And I honestly think that it'll, it'll hold that just fine. It's a steel pipe. It's probably like uh, eighth inch thick, which is pretty strong. So it's, it's definitely gonna withstand anything that I could throw at it. And the rack pull is the heaviest exercise I could do with it, for sure. But man, it's thick. I can't even get these grips around it. pretty good I'm probably gonna call it there so we built our DIY axle bar dumbbells and our axle bar barbell we went to chrome repo and we bought we bought the 10 foot long one and a half inch pipe it was $37 and then instead of doing the the instead of doing the duct tape method we ended up getting some some rubber couplings with some hose clamps to use as the collars and as the clamps and they worked fantastic all in all, we spent $56. You can check out the description for the complete breakdown of these prices. All in all, it took maybe an hour to build them uh, from start to finish, going to Home Creepo, going to Chrome Repo, <laughs> and getting them cut, bringing them back here, adding those collars on, and hammering those end, those, uh, those, what do you call those? And hammering in those end caps. The reason why he made this video is because garage gyms are pretty much essential right now with COVID, and commercial gyms are almost non-existent and so in order to build your garage gym dumbbells are a very essential piece of equipment as well as a barbell and you can't really get them nowadays because everything's out of stock because everybody and their grandma is building a garage gym rather than spending six hundred dollars and hoping that they're in stock and you can you can spend all that cash on some rogue ones or titan or whatever brand you're going for you can go to home creepo you can go to chrome repo and you can buy this 10 foot long steel pipe and some clamps all for $56, all for under $50, depending on the method that you choose and have that at your disposal, which is fantastic. So thank you again, Brian. Thank you for making this video and sharing this info with us. Uh, great, great tool to utilize and great information. As long as you already have some steel plates or some bumper plates, nah, the bumper plates aren't really gonna work with this. They could, they'll work with the axle bar just fine but using bumper plates for the dumbbell handles probably is gonna be a little annoying considering the size of the diameter of the plate. But if you have steel plates, if you have 10s, 25s, even five pounders, then it's gonna work great for you. So as long as you have some steel plates, some bumper plates, then making these handles and the axle bar is a great idea for you. That's it guys. Thanks so much for viewing the video. Hope you liked it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and don't miss the podcast episode dropping this Friday and every other video that drops Tuesday and Friday. So subscribe, tell your friends, do all that shit. All right, peace.